sex in the 20s, it can be very, very complicated. And unfortunately, there is this going along syndrome that women uh, just kind of go along with kind of whatever, you know, he wants to do. Maybe she just wants emotional closeness and all of a sudden she finds herself doing things that she really doesn't want to do. It's all about saying what you want. And women are not good at that. A lot of women aren't, especially in their 20s. It seems to me most of these women are trying to decide when to have children, and that can be rather tricky. So if they, again, if they have a good relationship with their husband, they can talk about it, it's a lot easier. Once she has the child, however, that can be such a game changer. They might have had great sex, then all of a sudden, you know, the baby is there. It's a big problem. She feels like she has to be this good little mother and yet also be able to be very sexy at night with her husband. And that's a big dilemma for, for a lot of women. I think one really good idea is just to have a date night. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly the same night every week, but you know, plan a date night. Plan time alone together. If they don't have that time, you know, nothing else is going to happen. I think the other game changer are, are teenagers. You know, and especially if there's stress in the family. Stress is just a huge libido buster. If every night you're just exhausted over what your teenagers are doing, there's just not as much energy for sex. Unfortunately, still, even in their 40s, if, if a woman had that going along sex, she may still be just having going along sex in her 40s. You know, so sometimes the sex therapist can really help a couple like that. Finally, when the 50s hit, there's something about that. I don't know what it is. Sometimes his performance drops. So they say 50% of men over 50 will have erectile dysfunction, 60% of men over 60, you know, it, keep, it keeps going up like that, you know, 70% of men. So at 50, if 50% 50 of men are starting to have issues, Sometimes that's when she'll say, well, it was never really that great in the first place. You know, it, it's just somehow it starts to fall apart. By this time, she may have vaginal dryness. Um, sex may become very painful. And um, I do have to say vaginal dryness is an epidemic in this country. So if she's got a little dryness, lubricants help a lot. It's about talking to each other. You know, life is a conversation. And if you've been able to, you know, get married, maybe have children, you, know, you should be able to talk about, you know, having sex. And I hope that women can communicate to their partner what feels good to them. You know, we expect guys to just know how to make us feel good. Well, that's, that's, that's a pretty big expectation. So I think we bear some responsibility, you know, in order to tell them what, what feels good to us.